Well, it's a joy to be with you today. The Lord is gracious to us, kind, and what he has to say to us will be liberating and essential for the well-developing of our souls. You know, without an author, there can be no agent, and Jesus Christ is the author and finisher of our faith. I want you to know the Lord loves you today, and he wants to speak to your heart today so that you can discover your power. God has a will for your life. Listen, there is a time for everything. Solomon says under the sun, there is a time for everything, a season for everything. You may be on the bench now thinking you're warming up, but the game is not over. Your day will come. You are my servant. I have chosen you and I've rejected you, so do not fear for I'm with you. Do not be dismayed. I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Point number one, who are you? Who are you? You must know who you are. And you must believe what God says about you. And you must believe you can do what God says you can do. There he is. In Judges chapter 6, they are the Israelis who are being invaded by the Midianites. They have planted their crops, and after they planted their crops, the Midianites would come in and tear them up, pull them up by the roots, and tap all of their vineyards and everything they had. So they ran to the cliffs and they ran in the caves, and there all of these people are, and Gideon is there with them. But God comes alone, and the reason why he comes alone is, you know, they were disobedient people, and mostly the reason why we get into trouble, because we are rebellious too. We are hard-headed, and we go about trying to do things by our own strength and by our own skill without allowing God to be in the mix. And they cry unto the Lord. They humble themselves, and God looks for them. And there he finds Gideon. That's your name right now, whoever you are, Gideon so-and-so. You played the role, you know that. There he is, afraid. And God looks at him and says, Gideon, you mighty warrior. Talk to me. <laughs> I'm hiding, I'm running. I'm covered up. I'm trying to get away. Yeah, you. Yes, woman. Yes, man. I'm talking to you this morning. I'm talking to every last one of you in here this morning. I'm telling you, God says to you, as he says to Gideon, get up! Stand up! Square yourself with life! You mighty woman! You mighty man! Arise! You mighty warrior. And then he says, you go in the strength of the Lord. See, you do better. Y'all better listen to me. Y'all have paid me attention. You said this feel good. Y'all better hear me. God says to you on tomorrow morning, when you leave here right now this afternoon, don't you go in, quit trying to make it on your own. Go in my strength. <laughs> it's not my might. It's not my power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. Point number two, 
know whose you are. Know whose you are. You know, God is our strength. He's the source of our life. Yes, he is. You know, so sad, ladies and gentlemen, I know it sounds so crazy to you, but there are times when the devil wants to take your mind from you. This is where he fights and wages his war. And it really tries to take your, you know, your, your, your image. You, you know, he wants you to believe. It really does. He, he wants you to believe that you lose it. <laughs> but you got to know whose you are. Well, John 15, verse 15 and following. This is Lord Jesus talking. He said, I no longer call you servants. <laughs> you, listen. A servant is a, from the Greek word doulos, I mean a slave, someone who waits on you, a waiter, someone who, you know, you call, get this for me. Get this for me. Take, the, you know, do, uh, do this job for me. No, listen to what he says. Because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I've called you friend. Friend, <laughs> for everything that I've learned from my father, I've made known to you. Ladies and gentlemen, what I've come to tell you this morning is you may not realize it, but God has given you an upgrade. <laughs> He's given you an upgrade, man. Yes. Doesn't matter what other people think about you. You know, Clarence Cobb in Chicago. You remember Clarence? You, you didn't know Clarence Cobb, did you? At First Church of Deliverance, Clarence Cobb would be on his broadcast every Sunday night all over the nation saying, it makes no difference what you think about me, but it does make a difference what I think about you. You can't say that until you know who. Listen to what he said, verse 16. Verse 16. I'm almost through. I know you. I'm going to let you out early. He said, you didn't choose me. You didn't choose me. You mean the God of the universe? The one who made the earth, the heavens, and the earth? The one who scooped out the rivers, the lakes, the ocean, the bayous? The one who rules the universe. The one who set the moon in the sky, in the blue ether, in the sun in the sky. The one who controls everything. He said, you didn't choose me. But I chose and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, then the Father will give you. Then the Father, you all don't even read this part. You don't even want to read it. Then the Father will give you whatever you ask. And the reason why he'll give it to you is because he knows that you're going to use it for his glory. Not just your advantage, but for his glory. Now I close. I mean, I've got four points, but I can't do two because I only did two this morning. Maybe I'll just do two next time 
I talk if I do this. Finally. Psalms 25, beginning with the 12th verse. Psalms 25, beginning with the 12th verse. Who are those who fear the Lord? Who are those who love the Lord? Who are those who put their trust in the Lord? Who are those who make God first, who prioritize, who have made it their business to trust the Lord with everything? Listen to what he says. Let's read it together. He will. You had to worry. I know you're talking about, well, I got to go on. I got to go on the internet all day and I've got to look at every job out there. No, 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 no. He'll point it out to you. There are no accidents with God. No, 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 no. God will show you where to go and God will put the people in your path who need to be in your path and God will make sure that things work out for your good. Now, I know you, you kind of wonder and said, preacher, but I, I'm without a job this morning. No, you're not. That's your job to find out God's will for your life. To find out God's next connection for your life. Yeah, that's your job. Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open. Let's finish that passage. He will show them the path they should choose. God. Verse 13, they will what? They will what? They will live in what? Psalms 25, beginning with the 12th verse. Who are those who fear the Lord? Who are those who love the Lord? Who are those who put their trust in the Lord? Who are those who make God first, who prioritize, who have made it their business to trust the Lord with everything? Listen to what he says. Let's read it together. He will. You had to worry. I know you're talking about, well, I got to go on, I got to go on the internet all day and I've got to look at every job out there. No, 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 he'll point it out to you. There are no accidents with God. No, 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 no. God will show you where to go and God will put the people in your path who need to be in your path and God will make sure that things work out for your good. Now, I know you, you kind of wonder and said, preacher, but I, I'm without a, job this morning. No, you're not. That's your job to find out God's will for your life. To find out God's next connection for your life. Yeah, that's your job. Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open. Let's finish that passage. He will show them the path they should choose. God has a way. <laughs> Verse 13. They will what? They will what? They will live in what? I, the reason why I should repeat it is because I want some of you to get that old pole mentality, that poverty that play a hater stuff that jealousy out of your head and realize you're supposed to, you are descendants of Abraham. God is your father. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof the world and they who dwell therein. He's founded upon the seas and established it upon the floods. They will live, those who fear the Lord, who trust him, who make him a priority, who put him first. They will live. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Now, I know y'all, you remember last time I talked to you, I talked to you 
and told you that prosperity is about security. I told my wife last week, I said, baby, I was reading this passage and listen to what it says. And it brought me to my grandmother and grandfather. Now they weren't, they didn't make a whole lot of money. But they had all of these eight children in the house. Outside the eight that they had, they got all these eight, you know, these extended cousins of mine, grandchildren, all this kind of, here we are in the same house. And granddaddy has retired now. He worked for the railroad when I was born, but he's retired. He retired. He's gone to be with the Lord now, but he was retired. And when he retired, he didn't worry about a thing. He, no, listen to me. He didn't worry about that. Food to eat. Buy what he wanted to buy. He was on a pension. Pension. Grandmama, she didn't work. Pension. His pension and SS. But when they got to prosper, because you don't have to work. Oh, man, I know y'all don't, you all don't know this. But you didn't know that SS and PN and 401K and all of the other Ks is a net result of the blessing of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord making one rich and adding no sorrow. You didn't know that he secures you in old age. Make sure you don't worry. Go to sleep at night. Oh, right, let's read on. They will live in prosperity and their and children will inherit their prosperity. Now right, let's read the rest of it. Let's finish. The Lord. Everything you need to know is in the word of the Lord for every situation. If you fear him, he'll make sure you find it. I say if you fear him, he'll make sure you find it. Now finally, <clears throat> verse 15. Yeah, I talked about them. I told it as you know, but you got enemies. Yeah, every one of you in here, you have enemies. People who want to destroy you, who want to take from you, who want to steal from you. I don't care if you don't, they want to take the sugar, the sweetness out of your sugar and the taste out of your mouth. They want to take your zeal, your energy. They want to take your livelihood. They want to steal your happiness. They want your joy. But I want to say, if God be for you, who can be against you? I trust in God wherever I may be upon the land on life rolling sea, storm and sea. Though come what may from day to day my heavenly father watches over me. We have come this far by faith leaning on the Lord trusting in his holy word. He has never failed. <laughs> I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. Old things have passed away. I've been born again more than a conqueror. That's who I am. I'm a brand new, new creation. I'm a brand new. So when you leave here today, you smile. Don't, 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 don't let the enemy say, I got him. 
No, you put a smile on your face. Yeah, yeah, you put a... Hey, get some pep in your step. Lift your head up, all ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of Glory shall come in. Who is the King of Glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Having heard the message today, you know, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. His Word is life unto us. We have found them health, healing, and medicine unto all of our flesh. I pray you've received the Word. You've received the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. It's so easy. Believe in your heart that Jesus is the Son of God, that He died for your sins, and that God raised Him from the dead on the third day, having done so. You are saved, but not only you saved, you are empowered. Now, go in the strength of the Lord today and in the power of his resurrection. God bless you. God sustain you.